I mean, I could go on and on about what is at stake here for this election. Yet Joe Biden, he continued. I can't believe when he said this, he called you along with tens of millions of other Americans garbage. I don't know the Puerto Rican that, that I know or Puerto Rico where I'm in my home state of Delaware. They're good, decent, honorable people. The only garbage I see floating out there is his supporters. Now the Associated Press is reporting that in a direct violation of the Presidential Records Act, the White House press office has altered the official transcript after it, quote, conferred with the president. You know, <laughs> listen, um, I know everybody's making a big deal out of it, but here's the, here's the truth. Democrats not only think that you're garbage, they think you are stupid. Mark Cuban, who is Kamala's spokesperson, he's now trying to walk back this doozy. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. Yeah. It's just that simple. Yeah, right. Donald yeah. I mean, seriously, Democrats also believe, I truly, they, they think that they are morally and intellectually superior to all of you. They know full well that they are weaponizing the law, they've weaponized the media, and more to take down Trump, because in their twisted minds, they think they know better than all of you. So they'll do whatever it takes to get Trump out of office, not in office, to, to put them behind bars. They call you garbage? Come on. That is the least of anybody's concerns. That was just a little slip of the tongue. Everything they've done to Trump, they want to do to me. They want to do to all of you. They want to imprison you. And even worse, now are working in concert with the Biden-Harris regime like never before. I mean, they're doing it so blatantly. The legacy media, headline after headline, this week reporting Trump wants to put Liz Cheney in front of a firing squad. I mean, just look at these ridiculous headlines. Trump fantasizes about guns pointed at Liz Cheney's face. Are you kidding me? From Rolling Stone to ABC News, yet here's what President Trump actually said about Liz Cheney. She couldn't stand me is that she always wanted to go to war with people. I don't want to go to war. She's a radical war hawk. Let's put her with a rifle standing there with nine barrels shooting at her, okay? Let's see how she feels about it. You know, when the guns are trained on her face. You know, they're all war hawks when they're sitting in Washington in a nice building saying, oh, gee, Will, let's uh, send, uh, send 10,000 troops right into the mouth of the enemy. What's, what's wrong with what President Trump just said uh, about, about Liz Cheney and all of the other warmongers out there? It, it is easy to send young, our young sons and daughters off to war when they're not the ones looking down the barrel of a gun. Do you see now how, how radically left, how anti-American the legacy media has become? Thankfully, some members of the media, they are pushing back, but more should. Uh, you know, they're sick of being pawns in this sick game of lies. I want you to take a look at this incident. Washington Post podcast host Jonathan Capehart, he falsely claims Trump is already planning to contest this election. Is it me or does it seem like this week Donald Trump is laying the groundwork for contesting the election by complaining that cheating was taking place in Pennsylvania by suing Bucks County for alleged irregularities? And this is on top of his continual assertion that if he loses, it's because of cheating. And panelists and contributing um, columnists to The Washington Post, Hugh Hewitt, that was the guy in the upper right-hand corner, he responded to that question in the most epic way. Take a look at what he said. We are news people, even though we have opinions, and we have to report the whole story if we bring up part of the story. So yes, he's upset about Bucks County, but he was right and he won in court. That's the story. I'll let you keep going, Jonathan. Um, no, I'm just, I don't appreciate being lectured about reporting when you, many times you come here saying lots of things that aren't I won't come back, fact. Jonathan. I'm but, done. But, I'm done. This is the most unfair election ad I have ever been a part of. You guys are working. That's fine. I'm done. Wow. Calling it an election ad, and that's exactly what it was. And the look on that host's face, that was just absolutely priceless. Mwah. Chef's kiss. Bravo to you, Hugh Hewitt.
I feel your frustration, as we all do. We are done with the fake news, the legacy media that not only distorts the facts, but leaves out pertinent ones to achieve its ultimate narrative, right? That President Trump, that guy right there, he's the big, bad boogeyman, threat to democracy. They want to throw away all of his achievements, a stable economy, thriving economy, a national security. But no, of course, Trump is the threat. You know what the real threat to democracy is? It's you, fake news. You're the propaganda machine working in concert with the Biden-Harris regime. The news is the only industry protected by the Constitution. And I think it's time that all of the people spewing the misinformation out there is, is held accountable for its lies. Trump is now suing 60 Minutes for editing Kamala's responses to make her sound more intelligent. I was thinking about this. God only knows how many other times that has happened, and not just with Kamala. As the saying goes, whoever controls the media controls the masses. But I think that that could soon end with a Trump victory. You know, Trump, he's not a perfect man. He is not the perfect candidate. But right now, he is our only hope to save this nation. <laughs>